welcome back on this wet and windy day. What I thought we'd do today is do a little short video on why even teddy bears should wear their seatbelts. So, got the Jeep out. What we're going to do is drive along for a bit and then hit the brakes quite hard and see what happens to anyone sitting in the front seat if they're stupid enough not to wear a seatbelt. So let's put their seatbelts on and try the experiment again. So in they go. And let's give it another go, see what happens. And brakes. And you'll see the seatbelt stop them from sliding forward completely. So what I'm going to do now is take an egg, stick it in a plastic bag so I don't get egg all over my Jeep, tie it to the rear view mirror and see what happens when I hit the brakes hard. Okay, egg in place, let's see what happens. So, not the most impressive of experiments, but we managed to crack the egg. We were only going at about 15 miles an hour, and the Jeep's brakes are none too impressive, even at that speed. So, it does make the point that if you've got your seatbelt on, you're not going to hit the windscreen, and it's going to be much safer for you. So, time for an explanation. You normally need Newton's laws of motion for this one, but basically, if you're in the Jeep traveling at 20 miles an hour, you're traveling at 20 miles an hour, and so is the Jeep. And if you haven't got a seatbelt on, when the Jeep stops, there's nothing to stop you, so you just keep moving until you hit something, and that stops you. And in this case, it's usually the windscreen. A few people get this one very confused. You saw the teddy bears coming off the seat, and lots of people say they flew forwards. They didn't. They just kept going. It was the Jeep that had stopped. So, even a teddy bear should wear its seatbelt. So, before we finish, it's worth mentioning that even if you wear your seatbelt, what about the other stuff in the vehicle? What about the person on the back seat, the dog on the back seat, or even the rucksack and the shopping there? If the car stops very suddenly, you might have been going at 70 miles an hour and something hits you, then all of that stuff on the back isn't tied in and it'll just keep going and it'll hit you. So make sure that all the loose stuff is tied down as well. So I hope you enjoyed that video and learnt a little bit about car safety. I look forward to seeing you again next time.